Hello everyone, welcome to Luigi's Play. Today we are showcasing a new emulator called Citron. Yes, it is the emulator that I'm running right now. It's a special one for the Nintendo fans who love homebrew games. So let's dive into what makes Citron different and why it could be perfect for you if you are into homebrew. First of all, let let me define you what Citron is. Citron is a Nintendo emulator made for homebrew games, which are fan-made or community-made games. Unlike the other emulator, Citron is only for Lega homebrew, so it's about playing games that don't break any copyright rules. And please note, I'll guide you through the installation process because setting up this emulator. Is very very difficult it's not like the previous or the rest emulator that we've been showcasing over here this one has the most difficult setup so if you want to know how to get this emulator and how to set this emulator up please stay tuned okay so we now have the new citron emulator over here and it is the windows version the 64 bits windows version when you look here this is the latest version of the citron emulator i'll leave the link under this video de description so that you can get the emulator yourself so after getting the emulator let me walk you through the installation process first of all we have to get or we have to install winra to extract this zip format because the emulator comes as in the form of zip format and at the end of the emulator, you can see something like dot zip, meaning we will need to extract this emulator over here. So get your WinRAR program installed. Then after that, just right click on the emulator. You should see WinRAR in the menu here. And then just put your pointer on it and then select the third one, which is extract to Citron Windows slash SST x84 or 64 blah 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 yes select this one okay now we are done with the extraction of the emulator let's open the folder and here we can see the citron program the exe file over here and also we can see the citron room dot exe over here we all know that to run the program, we need to run this this exe file. So dodges, so just double click it and then wait for it to open. Okay, so this is the first thing that you should see. Let's read it, which says legal disclaimer, educational use only. This is an open source homebrew emulator that is intended for personal education and research purposely only. By using this software, you agree that 1. You own the original contents you are emulating. 2. You will not use this for commercial purposes. 3. You will accept full responsibility for any consequences that arise from using this software and four you will not use this software to distribute copyright games the developers of this software are not responsible for any misuse or for any files you may obtain from third parties this message will only be shown once so the first thing you are going to say is this message and just press on ok over here to close it Now, this is the first home page you are going to see after you press on OK on the thing that just came up. So, this is the first thing that you are going to see. And before we can play our legal games, I mean the games that you rightly owned, what you are going to do is we will need to install our firmware and also our product keys. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be going with the product key version 18 and also firmware version 18. Please note, um, for legal purposes, you have to dump your firmware and also you have to dump your product keys. As such now, I have 
firmware version version 18 and also product keys version 18 so to install both firmware and product keys first first things first we need to extract these product keys over here meaning we will need to install the product key first so you extract your product keys if it is in the zip format you need to extract your product keys and then open it up copy your product keys your keys go back to the emulator go back to the emulator which is this one and then you head to files file you have to this then over here which says file click it select open citron folder select this one so after that you should see something like this remember we just copied our product keys so we are going to install our product keys just do this and it will take you to this place now inside this folder or in these folders you can see a folder named keys so which is this one open this folder names keys and then paste your product keys that you copied here okay so um, we are done installing the product keys and what's next is to install our firmware to do that head over to the folder that contains your firmware files so um, here i have my firmware file which is version 18 it's in the zip format so i'll extract it right click it select winrar and then select extra to firmware select this one after the extraction just um open the firmware file and then you click on this thing over here if you are using windows 11 just click this and then you you click on select all so meaning you are going to select all the files inside the folder inside the folder that we extracted so you are going to select all the file and then you right click and then you copy go back to your emulator this time around head to the file and select on open citron folder it will take you to this section over here but this time around open a folder called nand which is this this folder open this folder a folder called nand and then inside the nand folder open system which is this one and then here open content folder which is this one and then you open placeholder which is this one this folder and here you paste in the firmware files that you copied so you right click here and then you paste in the files that you copied okay so um, we are done with the installation of both the firmware and the product keys let's head back to the emulator this time around we are going to close this emulator and we relaunch it again so close the emulator head over to the folder that contain your citron emulator so we open the citron emulator and then we we'll, we we'll relaunch the program again okay so this time around we are going to set up our games folder so here it says double click so we are going to add our games folder over here so we double click and then we select the folder that contains our switch games okay so after selecting the folder head over to the top here you right click and then you select on scan subfolders here you should see your games at this stage so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set up this emulator for performance boost 
and let's head to the down here we can see something like Vulcan, High, Duct, Belenia and so on and what you are going to do next is we are going to change this dog to handheld change it to handheld and then this high thing over here we change it to normal that's all for the for the controller settings head over to emulation you select on configure and here make sure you plug in or you connect your controller to the pc and your controller could be either ps ps2 controller or ps3 ps4 ps5 xbox 360 and so on so after connecting your controller to the pc come here this is controls and then here we, sh we should see something like pro controller under the connect controller you should see something like pro controller and then input device you should see something like keyboard only now this is the pro controller and you can go with the joy cons which is this one or this is the dual joy con so um you can go with the handheld which is this one but for the sake of this tutorial i'll go with the pro controller this one after selecting the pro controller then under input devices if you are a keyboard user meaning if you play games using keyboard then you should just leave it as it is but if you play games using your external controllers like the ps4 ps5 or the xbox controller you should press on it and then here you should see your controller connected I use Xbox 360 and or meaning I have Xbox 360 controller so it, it is appearing over here meaning if you have a PS4 or a PS5 controller connected you should see your controller here so I'll select my connected controller here and then it will automatically map to your controller now we are done with the controller setup and that's all for today's video please test out this emulator and let me know right in the comment section if you really love this video or if you really like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you